everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and today I'm gonna give a glow up. I think that's the new technical term now. We're not, you know, makeovers or glow up. Anyway, whatever. Um, Origin Bumblebee from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. Uh, I saw the decal set, and uh, there was a lot of pin covers on it, and I love pin covers, so I said, eh, why not order? It comes with the rest. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, this little guy. I mean, I love this mold. I did the review back then, and to have this out mode. Yeah, it was a dream come true for many of us and today I'm gonna make him look even better Don't forget to check out my sponsor DJC collectibles a fantastic online store and wait until the end of the video to get your 10% discount code And also check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel Something I'll do until I'm 80 and now on to the decals about that now hey let's get back to Iacon all right first let's take a look at the decals uh, always protected in those cellophane envelopes so you have one foil backing with a lot of square silver rectangle uh, window decals couple things so I have no clue what those silver things are gonna be so that's interesting uh, here you have all the pin covers and some more blue, maybe purple, colorblind again. And some detailed uh, logos for uh, Bumblebee and then you have uh, the extra blue, I guess, I don't know what this energy meter. So it's a small set, so can't wait to apply those uh, also first thing you'll notice is that bumblebee doesn't have his traditional gun that came with the figure because he's with my netflix uh, bumblebee and i just didn't feel like uh, pulling him down so taking a look at bumblebee i love this mold uh you know is rather small i mean for a deluxe he is small and he was pricey uh thank god it's an exclusive at toys r us you know i wish i would have uh, waited because I didn't know but my sponsor actually got this guy in stock uh, at cheaper price so uh, Even though it's an exclusive to uh, Target who used to be exclusive to Toys R Us when it they crossed the border uh, somehow uh, Derek got some and uh, It was cheaper, so I should have waited, but didn't know uh, paint application. You have the logo the windows blue the little silver line here uh, the eyes are blue paint applications are good. I know there's no well It seems like there's no decals for the eyes, which I appreciate because I don't like putting those in uh, Black, you know, it's uh, yeah, black yellow uh, Not many paint application on the legs. I mean the chest gets most of it and uh, you have the uh, the bath the jetpack and It's pretty much it not much paint application on this guy. So great mold, but uh, low uh, Low paint. All right, so let's go ahead and apply some decals. Load up! I bet Optimus Prime will be glad to see us. And I'm back from the paint shop, or the space paint shop, I guess. Uh, okay, I found out what these things were. Basically, these thing goes over this, which are the Energon rod uh, that came with uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee. And I actually forgot about those because I stored them away because they don't fit in any hand, so it's useless, so I'm not going to apply the decals for that. But it's a nice addition, I guess. Um, what's left? Nothing here. Actually, well, yeah, one Autobot logo. And no pin covers. And actually, there was five black pin covers, and I did something different than what they recommended. And I had an extra one on, I think, Artfire set, and I used six black and eight yellow. Well, let's take a look. Uh, first thing, nothing on the eyes. I'm happy about that. I hate doing eye, eye decals. New Autobot logo looks really good. And then you have the uh, shoulder enhancement, a little blue. And then all over the faux, this is a faux top, right? Uh, because the real top is here. And this faux top, you have a window decal here. Here, this one's misaligned, I'll fix that. Here and here. Plus the logo looks really good. I mean, it, it, it does fit really nice on this figure. Uh, another shoulder decals. You have 
little crotch enhancement here or belt buckle. Uh, you have uh, little decals at the knee, uh, over here at the shin, nothing on the foot. And then on this part here, you have an enhancement on the side here and here. And then you have two blue decals and a little Autobot logo. I think that uh, it, bla it breaks the black uh, really nicely and it was a much needed improvement. And then in the back, nothing but pin covers. So basically pin covers usually go over these uh, big circle here. But this one doesn't show. Like, I mean, if he stands like this or if he's in robot mode, it doesn't show. So what I did is apply it here on the small part in here. Then I applied, uh, you know, instead of doing the, well, there's, uh, yeah, on the outside here, I did a black decal in here too. And then I did uh, in the back, well, I did add, where is it? Oh yeah, add the back here, uh, two decals. And then the yellow pin covers, I did two on the feet, right here. So that's four, there's a total of eight. So I've added one here and one here. And then, where did I, I can't recall where I put the other one. Okay, found it, it's on the other side. Simple as that. So that's what I covered. I mean, I could have put one, a big black one here. So I guess basically the four that uh, they want to do in this set is these two, these two, and then this one here. But I thought, you know, the, in this position, they don't really show. So I prefer to cover what was actually uh, shown. So that's final look to Buzz Buzzwordy Bumblebee uh, with the decals. Now let's put him in uh, alt mode. Mind if I cut in? And here's Bumblebee in alt mode. I mean, how many years have we waited for this? 37, 36? It's fantastic. It looks great. Uh, I love the, the, the mode, but he's very yellow. You know, blue uh, window, a little bit of details on the grill and the Autobot logo. And that's it. I mean, you have the backpack and then you, maybe I should have twisted that around. No, no, the backpack. There's no really, you know, place to peg it, but I like to put it between the arms. So it gives him this uh, floating look. Uh, but that's uh, pretty much it for the out mode. I mean, looks great, uh, but needs a little bit uh, more paint. So let's uh, get him uh, decaled. Is that a verb, decaled? <laughs> Prime told me there'd be days like this, and you didn't believe him. I do now. And now Bumblebee in alt mode. I think he looks fantastic. I mean, just the window is worth it. Basically, that's the main decal that you have. You have the Autobot logo. You have the the window. You have a little enhancement here at the joint, and you have that little enhancement here. And then in the back, you have these two little tail lights. I guess, I guess that's a tail light. And you have that little blue ribbon here, uh, just to hand ends uh, the sides of Bumblebee. And I think that's pretty good. I mean, we've seen uh, the, uh, the the rocket pack. So like I said, I, I like to put it like that. And I think this looks, actually that looks amazing. I'm really happy with the result on this one. So final look at Bumblebee and I'm gonna do my final thoughts like this because I display him like that. I never really put him in robot mode. Really happy with this set. Uh, I mean, I don't think that the Energon decals were necessary. I mean, we could have used a little more decals on the out mode to break out the yellow. I mean, there's still plenty of molded details here that could have been enhanced uh, with a de uh, decal. You know, something here, maybe for the cover here in the back. I don't know, just a little something to make it look a little more astonishing. So, but that's just me. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.